Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 2, episode number 15. I just drank a night vision potion and everything in here looks so trippy now. <laughs> uh, can you have guessed? I think Zap's getting shot at. Uh, but we had a Truly Bedrock stream weekend recently and if you didn't know, we have a banner normally on Truly Bedrock stream day that we pass around to whoever's streaming next. And Prowl left the banner in a chest for me to go to go get and yeah, the chest was surrounded. It just looked really, really odd. Okay, <laughs> uh, but Liara messaged me saying, "Do, do, do you want me to come and sort it out?" So I obviously said yeah, and she turned up. And yeah, here's a clip. Here's a clip of that. That's no fun. It was for you, yeah. Well, life's not fun. Okay, <laughs> I'll read the sign. I'll read the sign. I'll see what the sign says. There's Liara. I'll read it from afar, though. Let me get my video thing turned up. Stream day, ban it inside. It's definitely safe. I promise. You can you can do your thing whenever you're ready, mother. Oh, she had to build to it. You're right there, Liara. <laughs> you can do it. I heard a a tripwire hook. Then did you see that? Oh, there was a bomb! The banner survived though. Tried to kill mother, did you see that? Only took like one heart. <laughs> oh, don't run. Oh, don't run, Pignut. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I forgot we got these lanterns here gonna scare him away. Someone told me in the comments to place a carpet right there because I was having issues where the gold was going. Yeah, the, the, pig, the, the piglin wasn't picking up the gold in time. Sometimes the hopper was picking it up before the, the piglin had a chance to grab it and start trading with it. So someone told me to add carpet and that's supposed to fix it. Not sure if that is true or not. Whoops. Uh, yeah, we need to get him back in here now. <laughs> Uh oh, this is not good. I got thorns on. Take the gold. Oh no! No, no, this is boots. Better get another one then. Made some stairs. Got some gold. Let's get this one in. Okay, I got him in. That was the most painful thing ever though. There we go. So that's supposed to make it so he doesn't drop any gold now. He gets, he gets all of it. I think. <laughs> it's gonna turn it on. I've only got three gold left now. It's uh, ready to be traded. Already a piece went in there. <laughs> I didn't fix anything. Um. Ta oh, Pignut died for nothing. First stratty mark stratty face. Now, now Pignut's gone. All we got left is donut. Uh, but moving on to what I want to do for today anyway. We've been- what was a creeper? I've been- <laughs> we've- We've been living in our nether base for a little while now and it's totally done. I feel like it's time to make a start on our main base for the season. So I picked out this area for my main base area. This is my sheep farm that we built up earlier in the season. Didn't want to confirm if this was my base place or not in case I change my mind. But no, I think this is going to be where we're going to be setting up for the for the season here. So all of this plains patch is where we're going to be building. Maybe a little bit on the water there, I'm not sure yet. Um. But I've got a theme idea that I'm really, really excited to get started on. I think we can have quite a bit of fun with it. We're going to be going for a Lego theme. I was actually scrolling on the internet, looking for pictures of Minecraft builds for inspiration. See if anything would hit me. And yeah, I was scrolling and a picture of a piece of Lego popped up. <laughs> and I was like, hang on a minute. So I went into creative. I started to mess around, see if I could build things in the Lego sort of style. And I was pretty happy with the way things were turning out. So I built up three 5x5 five five brown concrete squares leading to this one 23x23 23 23 concrete square. And I want to work on storage first because I remember last season we had a shocker monster for the longest time. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure that we're getting, we're getting this going really early on in the season this time. Um, so these are going to be some dirt Legos. We're going to place some green on top. For the grass. Let me know if you have any ideas for ways to make this look better, by the way. These are going to go all the way to the ocean floor as well. We're not just going to have them floating over the over the ocean. And then on top of the big 
the big grass Lego, we're gonna have a Lego themed chest. So I think it's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna get the others built up. I built up the big the big Lego and I built up the small Legos. I don't know what any of these are called, so I'm, I'm gonna have to you're gonna have to forgive me if these all have different names and stuff. I was never really big into Lego. <laughs> I had a friend that was pretty into it that I would play Legos with when I was little, but I was never, never crazy into this stuff. So I don't know if the big, the big Legos have a different name to the little Legos. I think they're just big and little Legos, right? <laughs> uh, but I've got the big, the big one done and I've got the little jump, jump, jump over little Legos there. So we're going to start to build the chest next. I've got some brown concrete on me and we're going to go to to the sticky, sticky uppy bits in. And we're gonna do a brown square going all around. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna make sure there's two on the outside all the way around the brown concrete. Turn this way. And I think this is actually gonna go up two blocks here. So we're gonna do this again on top. Okay, I've built some little pillars in the corner here. So this is gonna be one, two, three, Four, and then we're gonna have a line of brown concrete going all the way around to the thing and then we're gonna have two more blocks and we're gonna have another line of brown concrete and then in between the brown concrete we're just gonna fill it all in with yellow and I'm gonna be building out concrete powder now just because it's a little bit easier we could drop water on it later on don't have to worry about converting it all before we start placing it all down I'm gonna get the yellow in I'm gonna get the brown lines in as well and then we'll start to Get something that looks kind of like a chest. We do need to get a lock still on the front here. I've got some gray, some light gray concrete powder. We're going to get a lock built out of that right there. And I think we're going to have our way to get in on the side. We're just going to shave out a little patch there where we can walk. We can walk in. I can add to it then in the future. We could always do some other little bits around it, like maybe a giant Lego Tiz that's that stood there. Looking at the chest? I don't know yet. <laughs> Give me ideas. Feel free to, to to message me with with your ideas or whatever. Comment with your ideas. I think it's looking pretty good so far though. Just gonna have seven bits of Lego concrete. And whoops. <laughs> there's a lock done. And there's lock for the chest. So I'm gonna end the pearl on top next. And I've got a couple... Stray bits? That went right over, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Got there in the end. I don't know how many ender pearls I used there. I feel like it was like six, five. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've got some random bits of different colored concrete here. We're going to be building some stray bits of Legos on top. So we're going to go and do a couple of free by freeze. I think I want to do pink at the top of this one. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do red. And, uh oh, Beardstone was killed by a Vindicator. Gonna do red there, and then we would realistically have a little bit sticking up. But the next bit would connect to, right? I don't know if I wanna do that though. <laughs> we might just save on these blocks. Take those back out. Uh, and then we're gonna do another two on top. Like that. And then we're gonna do the final bit. Of pink up here and then we're gonna have the little sticky up bit on top so I'm gonna grab a dirt block I'm gonna have to put a light in there probably dirt block get the pink we're gonna grab a water bucket we're gonna convert all that into hardened concrete and there is a little Lego stack I'm gonna have another one can I pick that up please there we go <laughs> I'm gonna have another one off over here as well maybe a bigger one there's a little Lego stack on top. Might change the colors. I'm not sure if I like the way the colors are blend in there. I want them to, maybe we should, should have done the blue there instead. Yeah, I think it looks better with the blue. So we're gonna do a bigger bit of Lego here then. So we're gonna go five by five this time. We're gonna wrap around two of these, four of these sticky up bits. <laughs> and just gonna go up by two blocks. I've already got some of the hardened orange since I just accidentally placed some in there and didn't like it. So we're gonna place those here. So none of it falls. Place that on top. 
harden all of that, and then we're gonna jump down, have a look what that looks like. Yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy with that. Super proud of that. Um, I have so many ideas running on my head right now for things that we could do with this build, this build style. <laughs> if you have any ideas as well, then make sure you let me know. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about those free, free, free dirt blocks in the water there, and they look pretty cool from up here. But when we're running around on the floor down there, it looks kind of messy when you look over at the chest. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. So that is the build style we're going with. We're going to end up decorating the sheep farm over there. The same sort of style as well. Loads and loads of ideas in my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're going to work on getting in there now, I guess. So on the left wall, I think we're going to bust out a hole. Right around here. Let's find the middle. Is this middle? That is the middle. There might be stuff in there because I haven't lit any of it up. Things hanging out. No, we're good. <laughs> we're going to light up in here first, I guess. And I'm going to take out these blocks and a couple bits of brown on the floor. And then we're going to do a wall of yellow. So I'm hoping it's going to look like there's, there's no hole here. <laughs> we might drag this along a little bit as well. Two more blocks on both sides. One, two. Drag out the yellow. And what's that look like from the outside? I want it to be kind of hidden. Uh, you, can, you can see that. I think it's okay though. I think I'm happy with that. So that is how we're gonna get into into the chest. Gonna walk in there, slip to the side, and then we're inside. Got distracted. I found two sheeps by my big Lego chest, and I want to try and get ahead. <laughs> uh, I dug a hole over here. Cooldown for breeding in this game on Bedrock Edition is ridiculous. You could breed them like every minute or something silly like that. Uh, so hopefully we can. I'm gonna stop us ahead here. I might give up again, like I did last episode. <laughs> uh, but no, we're gonna breed up a bunch of these guys, try and get ahead. There is also a new shop in the shopping district, a never shop. The zap opened up, and little baby sheeps. <laughs> and every time you buy something over there, you get a free blaze head, so we can get a blaze head to add to our collection as well. I'm gonna breed up a bunch of these. And there's all the adults gone. Pick up all of this, and... Oh, we got one! We got a sheep head! Nice. I don't think I'm even gonna bother waiting for these other ones to grow up. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be happy with that one. I'm gonna take all these out. Taking a quick trip over to the shopping area next. There is Zap's Never Castle. He's currently only selling blaze rods, I believe. Last I checked, there was only... Blaze rods in here anyway, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the free stuff here. <laughs> One free with purchase. Oh, and he's still got some. Nice. So I'm gonna buy a couple of these. 64 for one diamond. We'll take we'll take five stacks. We can use them as fuel. And I'm gonna take a blaze head. So we got two two heads to add to our collection today. Beatstone just messaged me saying to meet him in the Nava Hub. Uh yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm following him here, and <laughs> I don't I don't trust him. Two minutes after he was in my base being all aggressive and stuff, my strider went missing. So, uh, yeah, don't trust him. Not sure. <laughs> what does he want? He wants me to step on that pressure plate. I'm not doing it. <laughs> he can do it. <laughs> it's <a> big step. <laughs> Just wanted to show me his, uh, his musics. Ah, oh, he's so, so taken advantage of my not wanting to die situation right now. Um, I run into my base and there's a note. Right where my pig step was. Okay. <laughs> Barred by Mr. B. That's my, that was my musics. That was my music. <laughs> I'm gonna go put this piece of dirt at his base. See if he's, uh... If he found that block that we placed there last episode, trying to, we we're trying to blame it on an Enderman, remember? We're secretly being a jerk right now. Just, <laughs> we, we, trying to not cause too much havoc and have people know that we're doing stuff. Whoops, getting shot. You know, I walk in here and I always get really confused because I don't know which way is which and where, which way stuff is. Uh, also, Liara has been working like crazy on our Never Hub and it looks crazy, crazy cool. 
I just really, really love that. Really, really cool. I think Mr. Beardstone lives down here anyway. He's logged out now. He's just logged out. So we're safe to run and check. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> I, uh, I looked back at my previous episode to see the exact... The exact cords I placed the block and it was right there. I don't know if I want to put it so close to the lodestone though. I, uh, I, uh, I think I'm gonna move it a little bit. But yeah, it was right there and it's gone now. Obviously, he's not gonna have suspected that's that's anyone. He's not gonna have recorded or anything. There's nothing, nothing crazy going on, right? Just an enderman placing the dirt block. <laughs> We're gonna put another one right there. Again, revenge, sort of. We're bugging him a little bit, hopefully. One day I'm gonna be not scared. Whoops! I'm gonna be not scared of dying, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it back <laughs> for Stridey Mug Stridey Face and my pig step. I'll get him back. Next thing I want to do is repay a debt. So a little while ago, in one of my previous episodes, Killer Drone gave me a silk touch pick. It was actually during a live stream, I think, but I mentioned it in one of my episodes. He gave me a silk touch pick because I said how I needed to get ice, and I can't yet because I don't have. Silk touch on anything, so <laughs> he's kind enough to give me a diamond silk touch pickaxe. So I want to repay him here. We're going to grab sign, item frame. I've got lapis. Um, I need to consider, I, I always throw things in the corners of my base here. I need to consider maybe making a trash can for my main base this season. <laughs> always doing that. Um, but yeah, we're going to run over to Chunk Town to use the enchanter. I don't have one over here. Oh, I'm gonna be giving him a Neverite pickaxe though. I've got Mended, I've got Unbreaking, I've got Silk Touch. The only enchant that I don't have is an Efficiency 4, Efficiency 5. So I had one Neverite Ingolin around, so I just, I, I figured we'd give him a Neverite tool back. Really not having much luck here. Uh, breaking free. Projectile protection, I'll just take the one. Yep, 48 levels and I still didn't get what I wanted. So I'm using Mr. Beardstone's Cheaty. XP furnaces here, and I had to block the entrances because we're not wearing any armor. <laughs> Don't want to get snuck up on. Back up to 38 levels now. Oh, we got efficiency 4. I'll take it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to leave this now, though. He might have moved out of his, his clock tower. No idea. I'm not sure if he gave me efficiency 4 or it was efficiency 5 either. Pickles, sponsored by Making Waves Ocean Shop. I didn't get sponsored by Making Waves Ocean Shop. <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't I get pickles? I'm not sure if he's moved out here though, because he hasn't taken those pickles. Uh, they look pretty run through stuff in there. What about his? Uh oh, I think he's. <laughs> yeah, is uh. I don't think he lives here anymore. Uh oh. Not sure. Where... <laughs> I'm not sure where. Where to leave this pick now? I found Keldron's cage. Don't ask. Okay, he's got a cage. Um, there's another portal there too. This is where. PBK set up roughly for the season. We're gonna leave a sign because he uses that pole from Tiz for killer and we're gonna put a item frame right there. Put the pick in there. So a couple of things before I wrap up for the episode. Don't tell Beardstone about the dirt, okay? He doesn't need to know. It's not gonna hurt him. It's gonna be a lot more fun if he doesn't know what's going on with the dirt. You don't need to go tell him about a silly thing like that, okay? <laughs> Just let it happen. It'll be a lot more fun that way. And I'm sorry that all of my episodes have been a little bit short this season. All of my episodes have just been touching 20 minutes or they've been under 20 minutes. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to make them a little bit longer here in the future. Thank you so much for watching anyway. I'm just about out of time. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't worry. I've told Mr. Beardstone to stop watching my episodes. So we don't have to worry about him watching and finding out himself. Okay. <laughs> we uh, He's not going to su suspect that it's the dirt, right? Anyway, bye-bye.